Devarim, Deuteronomy 10. At that time, Yahuwah said unto me, Hew you two sapphire stones like unto the first, and come up unto me into the mount, and make you an ark of wood. And I will write on the sapphires at the words that were in the first tables, which you broke, and you shall put them in the ark. And I made an ark of shittim wood, and hewed two sapphire stones like unto the first, and went up into the mount, having the two sapphires in my hand. And he wrote on the sapphires, according to the first writing, at the ten devarim, which Yahuwah spoke unto you, in the mount, out of the midst of the fire, in the day of the assembly. And Yahuwah gave them unto me. And I turned myself and came down from the mount and put at the sapphires in the ark which I had made. There they be, as Yahuwah commanded me. And the children of Yashara'el took their journey from Be'erah to Bnei Ya'akan, to Masara. There Aharon died, and there he was buried. And Eleazar, his son, ministered in the priest's office in his stead. From thence they journeyed unto Gudgada, and from Gudgada to Yadvatan, a land of rivers of waters. At that time, Yahuwah separated at the tribe of Levi to bear at the Ark of the Covenant of Yahuwah, to stand before Yahuwah to minister unto him and to bless in his name unto this day. Wherefore, Levi has no part nor inheritance with his brethren. Yahuwah is his inheritance, according as Yahuwah Elohechem promised him. And I stayed in the mount, according to the first time, forty days and forty nights. And Yahuwah hearkened unto me at that time also, and Yahuwah would not destroy you. And Yahuwah said unto me, Arise, take your journey before the people, that they may go in and possess at the land which I swore unto their fathers to give unto them. And now, Yasharael, what does Yahuwah Eloheka require of you? But to fear at Yahuwah Eloheka, to walk in all his ways, and to love him, and to serve at Yahuwah Eloheka with all your heart and with all your soul, to guard at the commandments of Yahuwah and at his statutes, which I command you this day for your good. Behold, the heavens and the heaven of heavens belong to Yahuwah Eloheka, the earth also, with all that therein is. Only Yahuwah had a delight in your fathers to love them, and he chose their seed after them, even you above all people, as it is this day. Circumcise, therefore, at the foreskin of your heart, and be no more stiff-necked. For Yahuwah Elohechem is Elohai of Elohim and Adonai of Adonim, a great El, a mighty and a terrible, which regards not persons nor takes reward. He executes the judgment of the fatherless and widow and loves the stranger in giving him food and raiment. Love ye therefore at the stranger, for ye were strangers in the land of Mitzrayim. You shall fear at Yahuwah Eloheka. Him shall you serve, and to him shall you cleave and swear by his name. He is your praise, and he is your Elohim that is done for you at these great and at terrible things which your eyes have seen. Your fathers went down in a Mitzrayim with threescore and ten persons. 
And now Yahuwah Eloheka has made you as the stars of heaven for multitude.